Overdetermination occurs when a single observed effect is determined by multiple causes, any one of which alone would be sufficient to account for the effect. That is, there are more causes present than are necessary to cause the effect. In the philosophy of science, this means that more evidence is available than is necessary to justify a conclusion. Overdetermination is in contrast to underdetermination, when the number or strength of causes is insufficient. The term overdetermination was also used by Sigmund Freud as a key concept in his psychoanalysis. Freud and Psychoanalysis. Freud wrote in The Interpretation of Dreams that many features of dreams were usually overdetermined, in that they were caused by multiple factors in the life of the dreamer. For the residue of the day, to deeply repressed traumas and unconscious wishes, these being potent thoughts, Freud favored interpretations which accounted for such features not only once, but many times, in the context of various levels and complexes of the dream as psyche. The concept was later borrowed for a variety of other realms of thought. In analytic philosophy, in contemporary analytic philosophy an event or state of affairs is said to be overdetermined if it has two or more distinct, sufficient causes, whereas there may unproblematically be recognized many different necessarily conditions of the event's occurrence. No two distinct events may lay claim to be sufficient conditions, since this would lead to overdetermination. Determination. A much-used example is that of firing squads, the members of which simultaneously firing at and killing their targets. Apparently, no one member can be said to have caused the victim's deaths, since he or she would have been killed anyway. Overdetermination is problematic in particular from the viewpoint of a standard counterfactual understanding of causation, according to which an event is the cause of another event if and only if the latter would not have occurred had the former not occurred. In order to employ this formula to actual complex situations, implicit or explicit conditions need to be accepted to be circumstantial, since the list of counterfactually acceptable causes would otherwise be impractically long cause of one drinking one's coffee, unless a circumstance clause is included, the putative cause to which one wishes to draw attention could never be considered sufficient, and hence not comply with the counterfactual analysis. Or thus a and structuralist Marxism, the Marxist philosopher Lewis all thus a reported the concept into Marxist political theory in an influential essay, Contradiction and Overdetermination, drawing from both Freud and Mao Zedong, all thus a used the idea of overdetermination as a way of thinking about the multiple, often opposed, forces active at once in any political situation, without falling into an over overly simple idea of these forces being simply contradictory. Brewster, in all thus a al. S. Reading Capital defines overdetermination as such, the representation of dream thoughts in images privileged by the condensation of a number of thoughts in a single image, or by the transference of psychic energy from a particularly potent thought to apparently trivial things. Overdetermination of a contradiction is the reflection in it of its conditions of existence within the complex whole. An instance of a popular riot called Calling for revolution could exemplify overdetermination. The event has to it, in capitalist culture, an overapplication of agitation. The determinant contradictions are not addressed, and so the great mass is displaced onto the singular event. 